Hey kid, hmm? crew blonde with I'm Eric. I'm Aaron. And we're watching Deathstroke. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> I was planning that before you even got here. Well, I just thought of it. Well, so, damn. yeah, we're watching Arrow. Last time on Arrow. Deathstroke. Death <laughs> exactly. Deathstroke, the new Darth Vader. Yeah, we, we had uh, an amazing Deathstroke episode, Darth and once we got to the end, we realized <gasps> there's a part two. So we're yeah. gonna watch that today. Uh, he, his son is bad. His son is a leader of the Jackals. Yeah. We had a conversation. Oh, like is he the same character from Legends of Tomorrow? And a lot of people pointed out, oh, that's a different name. That would have been a younger son. He would have had. So he would have had two sons. Okay. I, say, I don't remember the son from. Yeah. Like I haven't seen it for what? Yeah. Two years. It's been a while. Been a while. That was the first year we started doing reactions. Yeah, I think so. Uh, that would be Legends of Tomorrow, season one. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Anyway. We had a poll. We had a poll. <gasps> An arrow. Uh, six five. It was episode six. This is episode six six. Okay, so this is right. What are your thoughts on the reveal? Of the identity of Vigilante. Oh, yeah, we also had the identity, the reveal of Vigilante. Vigilante. We had 47% uh, say I didn't like it, and 52% say I liked it. Yeah, relatively split. Ugh. Load! What were the people saying, though? I'm going. Ryan said, I Ryan, really liked it. Ryan, Ryan. No, Ryan, not Riot. Okay. I really liked it. Didn't think it would be him at all. I thought it was a time remnant of Barry. <laughs> the best way to explain any question in the Arrowverse. That would have been interesting. Definitely. Uh, Alex says, well, I mean, they backed themselves into a corner last season when Chase was actually Prometheus. So it made sense to just get it over with, and I think they did a good job with that. Yeah. I mean, there's... Other than, like, Captain Pike or something, I can't think of anybody it would be. Except for Watson. Hmm. Okay. FBI agent Watson. Ian! Yep. Says, I wouldn't say I didn't like it. I was more indifferent. When they showed his face, I didn't recognize him. The only reason I realized who it was, because Dinah was the one who saw him revealed first. Mm -hmm. And I went, <gasps> Oh my gosh. If it, had just, if it had just been like Diggle, and he'd been like, he'd be like, I'd be like, I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas says, if you rewatch season five, episode 15, in mm -hmm. the first fight scene with Vigilante, he immediately uses non-lethal force on Diana when mm -hmm. he sees her face. Foreshadowing? Maybe. Or coincidence. Maybe. That's, that would be awesome if, it was, if that was intentional. And we miss that clue. Or he might... I guess if... I, did he use lethal force on any other Vigilantes? I don't know. He could just be using. I mean, lethal there was the one time that he was there, like there was like a truck, and he was gonna like, take out the bad guys, and they were like, "No, you can't do it." And he's like, and he shot on the ground. Yeah. And they're like, "Stay back. Or yeah. We'll have to have problems." Or yeah. Like that, right? Like, that, the dialogue that'd be awesome. I don't remember exactly. Stay back, or we will have problems. <laughs> I don't know. There's something along those lines. That's, that's the sure. bridge version. Sure. Are you a Yoshi? Um. Jeff Knapp says would have been better if it was Adrian Chase. <laughs> it's just him again. Yeah, again, Earth Two. That'd be crazy. Yeah. It's Earth 2, Adrian Chase. That would be, and Earth, would be. And like he was there trying to stop Prometheus. He's like, I can't. Yeah. He's too good. Yeah. He's trained for this. Hmm. Maybe. That would be weird. Um, Lincoln said, I was really hoping it was Laurel. Okay. That would be weirder. Oliver bangs the vigilante. Yeah. Uh, Hector said, kind of indifferent here. I mean, a lot of people speculated it could be him. And when we saw, we were right. It yeah. was just okay. I just, I think the biggest takeaway from the vigilante encounter is the fact that he's technically a metahuman. Yeah, yeah he is. He's dead face man. Dead, dead face! face. Um, Why are we so in tune today, Aaron? Logan hated it. Logan? It could have and should have been the original Adrian Chase, like in the comics. We could have gotten the actor back too, since Prometheus basically stole his identity. Yeah, but I don't know how that would have worked. I mean, he's Prometheus. If we mean the original Adrian Chase, the only thing it would be if it was like an Earth One, Earth Two thing. Yeah, you know what I mean. 
But if it was like, I guess he means like Adrian Chase Prometheus was not actually Adrian Chase. But if that's the case, then you can't get that same actor back because he would have just stolen yeah. the identity. I know. He wouldn't look like him Unless he was a twin. But then you had last season the whole mom thing. Or it was a coincidence. You know? Maybe the mom thing, like, he's like, he's crazy and stuff and da-da-da. But she's thinking more of the vigilante crazy, not the Prometheus crazy. But I'm pretty sure she was thinking of Prometheus crazy. It would have been awesome if it was Chloe Sullivan. They start bringing her back into stuff. Maybe. Yep. Andrew says, I like the reveal. I wasn't expecting him, but it gives Dinah more of an arc. Mm -hmm. Be interesting to see where it goes, and the actor did a good job. Yeah, I agree. <coughs> I have nothing to say. I'm just in total agreement. Complete. Shit. And then Cheyenne says, every time someone with a secret identity shows up on Arrow, my first guess is, Tommy? <laughs> and if it's not Tommy, then I don't care. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, Cheyenne, Tommy's dead. He's a dead man. Yeah. He has to be dead because that's what happened. When you die. Yeah, when you die, you don't come back. When you die, you're dead. Unless you're Sarah or Thea or Dark or... He's seen our operation. Makes him a liability. It's an liability. I'll give you another one. Let me join you. <gasps> no. <sighs> Damn it. Flashback. Bad. <clears throat> Seven years ago. I'm at season two. <laughs> and I immediately left him to go kill Harley Quinn. <laughs> I called the security guard. Make that too. Shit. You guys aren't turning around. Neither are we. Ugh. Ah, I got an arrow gun. Remember Diggle was the green arrow back in that flashback? Or that flash sideways in the alien thing? Uh oh. Shit. Shaky hands Remember. back. What the hell is that? Someone's gonna get hurt because he can't do, can't perform. Oh, grenade, grenade, grenade. Oh, smoke. Smoky grenade. Ninja no. vanish. It's the laziest ninja vanish ever. Dragon. Dragon. That's colorful. Come on. Dragon. Why don't we all get some rack time? Get this Russian more. New villain. I bet Take he, some drugs, buddy. I bet he doesn't do that tongue thing. That's why they call him Dragon. Dragon, Dragon. I don't do that tongue thing. My daisies! Hmm. Do you think he's here to like try to get him out? Okay. Or he really wants to join him now? I don't know. That show could be hard to read with it, you know? Yeah. He's been bad before. Marla! Hey! Stop it, guys. Did you bring the costume home? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta take a little pill. Yeah, Not that one, Eric! You don't need Is it. there a shot? I don't know. I hope not. It's Viagra through blood. But Viagra has to go in your blood. That's how it works, isn't it? It pumps more blood. blood. Ooh, ah! A needle gun. <laughs> oh, my. oh, there's a shit that goes oh, in the Oh, no, needle. he's out. Oh, shit. What are you doing here? You should have gone home. I'm a bad at people. You don't have to leave a drug. I can't walk away from this. Fuck. Fuck! Man, I don't know what they're gonna do. <clears throat> I said last week. Just find the receiver. <sighs> Fuck, this is cool. Okay. Uh, did he just like walk over to the corner of the Cowie sticks! <clears throat> oh. Yeah, alcohol. Gift. Yeah. I'll be one year back from the dead day. New prototype. Should be ready in a year. Hey, that's the black and gray mask. Look at the bamboo flying off. Ah. Shit. Damn it, father! You tried to forget me. Shadow? Mm. Shit. Got some PTSD going on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a weird face, I thought. Where the hell is 
this? Oh no, is this the dragon? Dragon. Oh shit! This guy you're telling me about. That's a dude from French. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, arrow style. Even without the hood, I am the green arrow. Anybody in the mood to stressy? Always a shot. Quadruple cheese. Quadruple cheese. That's four cheeses, Aaron. How did you know? I can sense it. Just got a security alert. Palmer Tech bioefficient. Palmer Tech, still a thing. Oh, dead. I've got the SUV. Cover me. He's chasing a car on foot. Shit. Damn. Oh, damn. damn. It's John Diggleway. Oh, oh there's Dragon Diet. Shot him in the face. Dragon. Dragon. I've waited a very, very long time for this. Oh. <clears throat> an eye for an eye. No oh, shit. Do you take Oliver's eye? Give me what you call it. Sorry, I'm not in your head. Hey, hopefully that chick from the flash isn't here. Makes it come alive. Oh! 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 Jeez. Oh, 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 oh! Come on! He starts killing people there. Ooh. Ooh. Nita. I mean, he's not gonna kill all over, but you got to turn on your son, man. Shit! Shit! Gotta get him out of there. And then what? Yeah. Are you just leaving him? All of them fighting together. Oh, he's leaving his son? Shit. I thought he would try to take him or something. Prisoner. Oh! Sweet! <laughs> Just dead, both of them. Gone! I'm gone! <laughs> Didn't chase back on me and you. Because when I saw my son, I was tempted. I would have done anything to keep us together. <sighs> when you mentioned William, I realized that's not my boy. Aww. It's Cain. Oh, this is good shit, Aaron. Okay. Shit, look at all these dead people. Nothing gets confiscated. Go! Go! He's got an interesting voice. Yep. Nothing gets confiscated. Dude, you gotta watch fucking French. Ah, uh, it doesn't seem like it. Oh no, he's drugs that he needs. No, my precious drugs! Nothing gets confiscated. Right? The rest? Damn. The green bullet. Oh uh, shit. One shot, baby. Damn. <laughs> nice. It's time to bring it to an end, son. No. This is just the beginning. Oh uh, shit. Grenade. Nice. Damn. Shit. I like that. Oh shit, he's still using the same knife? Nah, man. Is it cool to place fight? Yeah. Manu's so good, man. All those years of training for Spartacus. Spartacus. Mm. What happened? What you saw was the mirror Kumu. The light! The one you promised. The all that you and me. I saw what you did to that Chinese spy. He was the tree. I told you. He took his mask off, you idiot! That's what I complained about! I have a brother. Grant! His name is Grant. Yep. Yes, please don't. Just like you did! 
Wish that you'd stay dead. Grenade! Shit, run! Grenade. Shit. He's gone. We could chase after him. Thank you, kid. <sighs> Man, now he's gonna be gone. Yeah. You're still amazing. Oh, oh man. I want to play Metal Gear Solid. That's a cool shot. Yeah. Moment I hesitated even as the flames grew closer. That was my rock bottom. I should have told you all about the tremor in the beginning. I'm truly sorry I didn't. I'm incredibly offended. And you have every right to be cursed. Yeah, you didn't come to me first for help treating you. Yeah! I Stupid! Help the woman walk people. He's got a Stupid. <laughs> Too small. Okay. Yeah. Oliver's coming back next episode. No. Yep. Do you know hear what he just said at home? Mm hmm Like two minutes ago? Mm-hmm. You did hear it? Yeah, you, I, you I, just, I, I, just to I totally heard it, but okay. it's definitely gonna happen. You just don't want him. Well, I said three. It's gonna be three. Yep. I gotta be right. Yep. You know, you're fucking wrong. Wrong as hell. Is that bet? Wrong as hell. Is that bet? Hell. Oh, well, here. Okay. No, here. I can't wait to slap you. Okay. Face. You'll slap me. Can't wait to slap you, you try. Slap it. It's Thanksgiving. I already beat. I bet you it happens. I already did. Okay, so uh, this was an amazing episode. We had a lot of cool stuff. Just to get out of the way, I mean, uh, that was the first thing we thought of when it came to Diggle being hurt. It's like, why does he get a curse? Yeah, we and, talked about that before, too. And I like that he's like, I'm offended you didn't come to me. Yeah, I know. I'm glad the team took it so well. Granted, he only came to them when he had zero option. If he just got those drugs, he would have continued to lie. It was, it was, well, it was his rock bottom hit, too. Of course, you yeah. Know? Like, the yeah. fact that he was willing to jump into those flames to save that, and he's starting to realize yeah. how bad it really yeah. is. And it's, that, not, it's not just like, well, I'm taking care of me so I can help take care of the team. Sure. It's like, I'm at a very yeah. bad spot. Like, I like what Lila said. I'm glad they brought Lila into it, me too, too. Because me too. what she said about, like, you're always, the like, the moral guy. Yeah. And the fact that you're doing this, like, mm -hmm. I don't know what to think. No, I agree. Um, you know, there's only that small part of me that's like, well, this shouldn't have happened, but because it did happen, at least it's being handled in a better way than I thought that it's not being drawn out and it's not being like, you betrayed us, and, you know, yeah. the vision and the team and all that stuff. So I'm glad that we got that. Um, but everything else with Deathstroke, Slade, uh, Joe, or Kane, as he likes to be called, because he watches too much wrestling, but... Uh, I love that. Yeah. I, I think I like Deathstroke more in the last episode. Like, he had a cooler well, scene yeah. than he did in this one. They had a pretty cool sword fight. You know, with, with their fight, Monty Bennett's so good, and I know that they do stunt doubles, of course, too, but in a lot of the shots when you can definitely tell it's the two actors, you know that thing where if one person is way better than the other person, he kind of enhances that person? You know what I'm saying? We, yeah. We've had that before, like, you know, Tyler, who had never done any kind of sword fighting when, he's, when, he's, when he was fighting Shane Ferocity. He just got way better. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you kind of had that in episode one with uh, Star Wars, right? Uh, Ray, Park. Ray Park is so much better than the other two that he just enhances them. There are a couple of moments when I'm watching the kid and being like, he's not doing that great. But Monty Bonnet's doing so great, it elevates the other guy's performance. So, anyway... Um, so Kane and the Jackals were doing a reassignment of resources, meaning they were just stealing shit and doing shit with it, right? Yeah, yeah. or just maybe giving it to people, selling it to people, yeah. whatever. So yeah. Like, it was like when they said that they lost some of their explosives, like, but this other organization sure. has a shipment, yeah. in, so we're going to take that. <clears throat> so if Oliver never came back, he would have joined the Jackals and then tried to save his son from the inside, pretty much, right? That's kind of what his plan was. I don't know, maybe. And then Oliver comes, pushes him back. I mean, you he know. got in a very dark moment where, where I was like, I mean, looking at him, like, I'm not sure what he's going to do. With yeah. it being, you know, this show, I sure. doubt they're going to kill Oliver in this way with what they've done so far. Mm -hmm. But it seemed like a moment, like like Oliver was saying, it's like, it didn't seem like you were lying like yeah. you did on Lee and you. Well, what I was going to say is, like, what probably would have happened if Oliver <clears> never <throat> came back is he would have attempted to do that and then eventually fallen back, right? He, he just wouldn't have been able to have the strength to stay the way he is right now 
because that's what happened with... Uh, oh, you mean he would have fallen back into a bad guy yeah. kind of stuff? Because okay. the mirror crew apparently kind of wore, wore off a little bit before, right? When he came back, and then it went back with a vengeance with the appearance of Shadow and that dream and going a little crazy. He kind of like PTSD and of like moments like and stuff. like guys, and he was covered in blood. And, uh, all I could think of was uh, uh, Big Boss. Big Boss. Being covered in blood. His mullet <laughs> you know? and his yeah. eye patch and yeah. all that kind of stuff, yeah. So... Um, and I mean, they like let him in. Like, all right, your dad can join. I mean, he killed like thirty guys. He killed like a whole bunch of guys. <laughs> and then they're, they're like, well, they don't. My guys don't trust you. I'm like, well, fuck. I wonder why. Yeah, I like, know. He right? killed everybody on the way in. Yeah, he killed my best friend. Uh, we so had. Uh, they had the brother stuff, and they also showed the black and gray mask. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like they said about it, and then it was colored later on. Like they said it was a prototype, and then they finished it. Did much. they? So is that is that that's what he has on now? Mm-hmm. Is the black and gray the initial version? Because that's like the same costume we saw back in Legends. It was a black and gray Deathstroke, right? Um, you said that last, last week. I don't remember. I, I thought he just had a... I thought he was a different Death... color or something. I, I, don't, I didn't think so. It could have, I guess. I can't like I said, it's been... But that would have forever. been the other son, not <coughs> Joe. Uh, Grant. That would have been Grant Slade. <coughs> See? Is it gray? Yeah, it is. Okay. Like, it still has, like, the orange, like, grenades and that kind of stuff. Sure. But the mask is that black and gray color. Okay. Okay, yeah, I don't know. But, I mean, I'm assuming that one um, may be in the Legends of Tomorrow universe. He never comes back. He never colors it. and I, I don't know. <laughs> um, we... See, when they first talked about him, too, he was like, here's something you don't know. I have a brother, and Mom didn't want him in this life. Yeah. And it was, like, six months after I saw you. I slit his throat. I was like, wait, he killed his brother? <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah. What did he say? I, I think he was, it was kind of warped dialogue, but I thought he was talking about two different things. He's like, I had my first kill six months after I saw you. Yeah. He said the brother thing, mom didn't want him in the world, period, rather than comma. Yeah. Then I had my first kill, I slit his throat six months after. I well, don't think he meant he killed Yeah, I mean, he said, here's something you don't know. And he's like, I have a brother, da 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 yeah. went through that. And I saw you, whatever, and six months after that, I, I had my first kill sure. and I slit his throat. Yeah. But the way it was kind of worded, it I almost felt like, like he his brother. wait, his brother was there? Yeah. And then he had his first kill and he killed his brother because his mom didn't want him in this world? Yeah. That's terrible. Yeah. I, and then I, he was like, I got two sons to find. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, I think it was <laughs> it was just the way that the sentence was structured. Maybe it was just edited together, like two different parts of the conversation or something. But, yeah. when I Because when I, I, I thought that too, and I'm like, no, because the son has to still be alive. Right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I just thought maybe it was like well, a, some, kind of, flashpoint some happened. kind of yeah, flashpoint <laughs> retcon kind of thing, and like Grant's not around anymore, yeah. and it's just this uh, this new guy. Yeah. What's his name? Joe. Joe. Kane. Joe Kane. Yep. Um, we had a uh, dragon, which I'm I'm pretty sure there's a isn't Richard Dragon a vel- like a character? Uh, this guy's I, name is Ricardo. This is Ricardo Diaz. They call him Dragon, but Ricardo dragon. Richard Dragon D. But uh. He wasn't like a fighter or anything in this. He had the dragon tattoo yes. on his neck. But I always really enjoyed that actor. I can't remember his name right now, but he's been in a lot of things. He was in S.H.I.E.L.D. at one point. He was like uh, with Gonzalez. Remember the uh, the other director of S.H.I.E.L.D. guy that, during the Inhumans mm-hmm. arc? He was uh, he was in there, too, mm. for a couple episodes, I think. Mm. But he's been in a lot of stuff. I like him. Um, we haven't had anything about the vote in like at least yeah, this episode. No. Last episode, yeah. I don't think they mentioned it either, mm-hmm. really, did they? No, I don't think so. Uh, we had Shadow back. When was the last time we had Shadow and Slade in the same episode? That's uh, pretty season cool. Season two. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. We've had Shadow back as a ghost. We've had Slade back, but never together. I don't think. Um, they were playing Injustice too. Yep. They were playing Blue Beetle. Know. They're playing Blue Beetle and uh, uh, Sub Zero. Sub Zero. Who's a guest character? In like, how does that work in this universe? Because they've you know? mentioned Court Industries a lot in the Arrowverse now, you know. So obviously, it's just a little Easter egg. It's not meant to be Injustice Two. It's meant to be a video game X. It was just playing Green Arrow versus the Flash. That would have been crazy. <laughs> yeah. like, wait a minute, what? Yeah. At least that would have made sense because they're like, hey, these are real, you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, they could still do it. Because they have Green Arrow and Flash action figures. I was saying, they like, could do I that. feel like that would make more sense. Like, they're, oh, they're playing Injustice with Green yeah. Arrow and the Flash. Yeah. But, like, there's Blue Beetle there. Sure. Like, wait, what? Like, if they had Green Arrow and Blue Beetle fight, and I'd been like, wait a minute. Yeah. Hmm. So anyway, we that, that was that was cool. I like that. I like that WB Games lets them have it on there. So because we there was a well, scene where he last, was playing last time it was Mortal long Kombat. Time ago, yeah. It was like um, it was like Mortal Kombat two or something like really? that. What it looked like, like like a few episodes yeah. back. There was that. Well. 
Was that in this show? Because we did have one thing where we're like, what are they playing? It sounded like an injustice. Well, there was... I, I thought it was in this. There was yeah. a shot of them playing Mortal Kombat. Okay. It might have been. But anyway, they definitely had Injustice 2 and Arrow. So. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Arrow. Okay. Uh, well, that's all I have. Let's check out some Q&As. Uh-huh. Uh, CJ says, did you have any fear that Slade Wilson would uh, die in this episode? Or did you think he has some plot armor left? I didn't think he would die. I mean, I know they are trying to... <laughs> um, I, I didn't think he would die. I, I know that they have in the past done this thing where they try to get rid of characters that they're bringing into the cinematic universe, and I know that they're going to have a Deathstroke movie or him as a villain for a Batman movie or something. Um, so I really hope they don't do that because that's just like they do with Suicide Squad and yeah, stuff and got rid of people That's the stupidest for a thing they could do. Uh, why not just have one thing market the other? Fucking come on. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> um, just because you have, uh, you know, the, the Justice League cartoon and you have a Young Justice cartoon, you have to cancel one or the other because yeah. you have, well, these heroes are in this and these heroes are in this. We can't have yeah. that. Yeah. It, it is, that comes across as you think your audience is stupid because they wouldn't understand, like, one version of a thing and another. Yeah. You know? Or, so. you know, they always have, like, the uh, the movies, the animated yeah. movies. Like, well, we got to cancel the cartoon. Or we, gotta, yeah. we can't have Superman in the Justice League anymore in the cartoon because he's going to be in this movie. Yeah. It just doesn't work. It's, ri- it's ridiculous. So, yeah, if they kill Deathstroke off, I would, I would say they do it for that reason. And if they did that, then that's just a really stupid decision. So I don't think they're going to. But I wouldn't call it plot armor. I just that's an important character that needs to stay up. Yeah. You know? Uh, Weston says, just to be clear, the son from Legend of Tomorrow, uh, future Grant Wilson. Mm-hmm. This one is Joe Wilson. Slate yep. has two sons. He has a daughter, too, but whatever. I don't know if that's like like comic stuff. Probably. Has he mentioned it in this? Not in this. Now, yeah. Also, do you think we'll see Slade for the rest of this season, other than a few references every now and then? Uh, or is I, he gone? I wouldn't be surprised if this was like, you know, we brought him in last I mean, they gave season him a two-episode story arc, yeah, you know? he's just out there now. But uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he was not He was gone the whole season. But yeah. The possibility I mean, we could that also he's out get there. him back for like mid-season or season sure. finale. Dude, it'd be crazy if he came back on the crossover. That'd be awesome. Wouldn't that be sweet? Yeah, that'd be great. I'd love that. I'd love it, too. Uh, Xavier says, since Punisher is also coming out this week, who would win in a fight, Deathstroke or the Punisher? Guns are allowed. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Deathstroke is way better at hand-to-hand. Uh, I don't know. Punisher is a little more grounded in reality. Deathstroke's a little more fantastic, I think, sometimes. So I would say probably Deathstroke. And it depends on what iteration, too, and some of the comics. And he has healing stuff, ability and, he has and stuff, healing too. And super strength and, you know. Like the Mirakuru yeah. stuff affects him and stuff. I'd probably go with Deathstroke. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. But, hey, I'm super excited for Punisher because if it's going to be just a season of that, I'm cool with it. Cool with it. Um, so, if in, uh, James says, so if Injustice 2 exists in the Arrowverse, mm-hmm. does that mean the whole Injustice roster also exists? Also, in Injustice 2, Oliver Queen is known to be the Green Arrow. So how does that work? I'm confused. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Injustice 2 was casted as a actor in this. Think of it that way. It's not that he's, they're playing Injustice 2. They're playing a video game, and that was the actor chosen for that game. That's yeah. how I think about it. I mean, in that game, like, maybe there's no Oliver Queen in that game. Yeah. You know? It might not be the same sure. game. But you saw a Sub-Zero fighting at Blue Beetle, which yeah. is kind of cool. Yeah. Kevin says, was this meant to be a permanent farewell for Slade? Per, uh, that vanishing in the mist moment, while incredibly badass, made it feel like we aren't going to see him again. Uh, I definitely, I wouldn't say we're not going to see him again. Don't, that, the only way we would get that is if he actually died. Uh, this is just a way of saying he, his part in this part of the story is over. Yeah. Um, Shire Folk said, where would you, where would Deathstroke rank in your top Arrowverse characters? Where would Deathstroke? Yeah, where would he rank in your top characters? I mean, Arrowverse? definitely top five. I mean, yeah, his, his story arc is amazing. Uh, I love him. Top three. I don't and know. Malcolm Merlin's up there. I like him a lot. Yeah. I don't like to rank things, so. And uh, I like Oliver Queen. Yeah. And John Diggle. Mm-hmm. And Felicity. Oh, well, that's number four, I guess. Felicity. Because you named her fifth, actually. Well, I was thinking, like, superhero character kind of things. And then I was yeah, like, oh, I'm You don't consider her a hero. I figure her like a, yeah. like, a, like a necessity. Sure. Like, you can't ever kill her. Necessity! Ever... <laughs> necessity! <laughs> no, um, Jack says, besides the fact that they switch Grant and Joe around, Grant is usually the older son mm-hmm. who is evil, and Joe's usually the one who gets his throat slit. Mm-hmm. Do you ever think we'll get to see Slade's daughter, Rose, a.k.a. Ravager? I uh, don't know. Maybe. Baked Potato Brooks says, do you think Caden James or Richard Dragon will be season six Big Bad? Um, both. 
Both. I don't think they, they, I don't they think team gonna, up. Yeah, I'm, I don't think they're going to have a, a single big bad. I think they're going to have like double a team big of bad. People. Yeah. Like they're, they're introducing like people throughout the half the season, and then they all team up at the end for a yeah. big season. They're like, ah. Oh. Yeah. Then you have a team versus a team. I mean, we've emphasized the you teams have a hacker so much. Versus a hacker. Yeah. And you have this drug dealer shooter guy with like a wild dog shooter guy. And Anatoly. Yeah, Anatoly and Oliver. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. I think that we're going to... And Vigilante could be a villain for Dinah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. They could do that. I think that we're going to have a team, yeah. Bring all these in and have, like, yeah. They, they may not be, like, a team of bad guys. They may just be a bunch of bad guys that work independently that, you know, that's what that's, and that's where we struggle this season. I kind of like that idea. Hmm. Be a little break from the norm. Uh, B. Mike says, Arrow is so damn good this season. The choreography is absolutely incredible, mm-hmm. and the stories are really engaging and interesting. Also, that suit at the end is not the suit Diggle wears. It's far too tiny for that huge man. <laughs> that's what I said. <laughs> no, that's the suit they made to just stay on the mannequin. <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying this season. I think it's been pretty good. I enjoyed last season a whole lot. Sure. So I think it's just been building off of that, where I was like, I have no idea where they're going to go. Yeah. And this is where they've gone. I mean, yeah. we, have, we have some cool characters back that we haven't had for a long time, mm-hmm. and things are at least interesting and yeah, uh, I mean, there's been a couple things this season. I mean, just trying to be honest, I was like, eh, I don't love that. But they make for some great moments down the road. So, I mean, even though I didn't love that John was becoming Green Arrow and then, you know, we, we kind of have that drama with Oliver and that stuff, if it brings out stuff like this, I mean, I'll I'll, I'll say my piece then and then enjoy it later and be a mm. hypocrite. Mm, hypocrite. Mm. Yep. Snicker Doodle says, is the future that the legends saw still coming to Star City? Since both Diggle Jr. and Grant were sh- shown this episode. Yeah. Uh, I don't believe so, because that was if the Legends had never returned in their first season. I don't Have know. they, though? Yeah, they, they did. Did they? They're still they out will. there and about. Yeah. Shake it all around. Uh, Preston says, how in the world was Felicity and William playing Injustice 2? <laughs> Casted character. Um... Magnus, I know Eric does, but I think we all have a man crush on Manu Bennett. Yeah, all of us. Hopefully this isn't the end of Deathstroke on Arrow because of the Batman movie. Yeah. Uh, What you were saying about it is like, hopefully they don't try to do something like they did. Yeah, I mean, the thing that I don't like is when they kill a character because they have a counterpart in the the DC universe. Um, So, yeah. Is that what it was? Crusader says there's three kids: Joe, Grant, Rose, mm-hmm. Jericho, Ravager, Second Ravager. Mm-hmm. Did did Grant call himself Deathstroke in Legends, or did he call himself Ravager? He called himself Deathstroke. Hmm. I just don't know why Ravager sounds familiar. Huh. It sounds like some like a generic term for no. It could be another franchise. I mean, I know of Ravagers and other things, but th- yeah. that's not why it sounds familiar to me. Yeah, I don't know why. Um. Hmm. Andre says the guy who played Mr. Diaz was the guy who drove the tank in the Walking Dead prison arc. No. Yeah. I just noticed that. Anyway, what does Oliver mean? Mm-hmm. Slade has never been a gun for hire. Isn't that Deathstroke's whole thing? Ravagers is Guardians of the Galaxy, right? The Ravagers. I don't know about that, maybe. The the guys in red, the pirates that under Yonda. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. That's Ravager. That's where we remember it from. Mm-hmm. Okay. I forgot all about that until you just said that. Yeah. Okay. I don't think that's it. Ravage, I have a whole different show that I don't think you've seen because we've talked about watching it before. A DC show? Nope. Oh. But that's not, I, feel, I felt like it was more DC related that I was thinking of. I don't know. Anyway, um, but no, I didn't realize he was the tank guy. Um, yeah, he's, he's, he's he, a lot of bit parts and lost stuff. He wasn't a gun for hire because he worked for the ASIS. Is that what they were? The, the Australian special whatever something. Like, mm-hmm. that wasn't, like, a gun for hire. It was, like, a military thing, right? He was in uh, Planet of the Apes, the second one, right? Wasn't he? Like, he was, like, the guy that was mean to the apes. Who? Uh, the guy that is playing the, Dragon. Your fringe dude? Yeah. Yeah, he was in Planet of the Apes, too. In the second one? Yeah, he was, like, the dick. I think he's more like a blue coat, maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. Wait, yeah. you mean, like, the guy, like, from, like, the little group that went out yeah. into the woods? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I don't remember. That was him. He was bald. Mm-hmm. I mean, a lot of people were bald. Yeah. Bad he didn't have a tattoo, though, so it probably wasn't him. Oh. But, yeah, I think that uh, Slade back then would have been in the military, which, if you consider being in the military a gun for hire, then yeah. I guess. But 
He, well, wasn't, he wasn't like a mercenary where like anybody, bad guy, good guy, yeah, whatever, could be like hire CIA him to be like, a hitman. Yeah, and they assassinate people, right? Yeah, is that a gun for hire if you're CIA? Maybe. <laughs> I mean, you're you're killing people for money. I was just saying, if you consider someone in like the military to sure. be a gun for hire, I yeah. mean, they're getting paid to be a soldier, but it's not the same as like being a mercenary where you're just like whoever can pay me the most, yeah. I work for them. So it wasn't quite like that. I mean, um, that was a Chinese spy, is what he said, right? Yeah. yeah. Which is why like the Australian whatever military was going to take him out. Curiosity Kitty said, "Did you notice Oliver's fight scenes didn't play the full arrow theme? I cannot wait until this boy shoots arrows again." I know. But hey, his fight scenes were pretty cool, even though it did seem like he was just straight up killing those fools. Um, but I guess they were non-lethal blows, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but I really enjoyed the uh, the knife fight scene. That was cool. With shanking guys. Dude, I loved when he, like, he had the guy, he stabbed the guy in the back, punched this guy, grabbed that knife, stabbed him in the chest, punched this guy, grabbed this knife, yep. stabbed this guy, and stabbed this guy, and was still using the knife. Yep. Like, he just he kept using things as holders. Yeah. I loved it. Aaron likes when men are penetrated. By the same thing. Like multiple men with the same penetration and all the thing. The penetration sticks. Robert says, uh, do you think they're setting up a sort of backdoor pilot for, for perhaps a Deathstroke series with these last two episodes? Um, no, not really. Would you watch a Deathstroke movie or like TV show? Absolutely. Uh, but I kind of enjoy like just the, the kind of, he's coming in here too, so... Yeah. Yeah. I guess. I just want him to show up somewhere. Sure. Or be a main character. Yeah. Have him be Team Arrow. I mean, he's got a lot of huh. screen time in Arrow as a whole, so. Well, we'd love him as much as they just had him on the episode indefinitely, just as a main character. Um, it would be less special. I know. Even I'm though it's, it'd be awesome. I mean, I, I would not want, like, Crixus not to be in Spartacus, you of know course. what I mean? Yeah. But, like, what if he was just, like, a guest star on, yeah. on Spartacus? Mm -hmm. Would that be better or worse? I don't know. Well, Chris says, feeling like they may replace Diggle with Slade. I love Dig, but if we got Slade in return, I doubt I'd be too mad. What yeah. about you? Now I gotta have Diggle on on air. I gotta have the big giant what if man. Diggle became the guest star every once in a while, and Slade became the common. Um, I, I don't get me wrong. I love Deathstroke, and I, I love Manu Bennett, and I love when he comes on. I just don't. I mean, I mean, I, season I don't, one and I two, he was more regular. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, with the island story, it was so integral. Um. I wouldn't, I, if, if someone gave me a choice of do you want it to happen or not, I said, yeah, I just don't really see it happening. You know, if you say, like, wouldn't you rather have a Justice League show and not the four separate shows, I'd probably be like, yeah, but I also like having the four separate shows, you know? I would love to have, like, a Justice League show in the off-season of the mm -hmm. other four shows. That way they yeah. can still have their other thing, and then we have, like... Sure. Or, like, you have the four shows, and then their crossover is actually, like, a like a four-week arc of like just mini series mini series thing and then it goes back to the regular show sure that'd be sweet yeah i'd want both <laughs> i want it all perry van west what is your favorite food when you were stressed out what why um just food because the ice cream thing just food's my just favorite food? food food is your favorite food yeah i really enjoy it <clears throat> i stress out i stress out a lot so usually i just fix it with food I really don't, I can't think of a stressed out food that I eat. Um, 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 maybe like a hot dog. Yeah, like, like, a, like a large sausage. I like breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this, Pepsi Queen says, I'm guessing they forgot one thing on the writing floor, Felicity's nut allergy. Yeah? Either that, or we have to assume that she ate a different type of ice cream. Which is possible. That's possible. I, 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 don't, remember her, I don't remember her having a nut allergy. I mean, uh, she didn't say yeah, anything to about it. Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, because he gave her your nuts, no, Oliver. Oh, because he gave her, her his nuts. Do you remember that one time I had that really good line about smoke? Yeah, <laughs> that was good. You know, it was nuts. What? No, but it was a good like. Oh, just in general, just a good joke. Yeah, that was also good. <laughs> <laughs> um. Dude, one time in sixth grade, I made a three-point shot, swooped right in the basket. It was awesome. Really? Yep. Everybody Backwards? saw it. Too. Huh? Backwards? Backwards. Like you? No. no. I shot like a real basketball player, not like a tr tricker, tr tricksy oh, so guy. You weren't that yeah. good. No, I was. I was professional. There's one time I threw it through my legs, like behind yeah. my back, and yeah. then like uh, over like a person. 
Yeah, you just bent over throwing balls between your legs. Is that yeah. what you're saying? Yeah, over people. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of guys there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I heard Chicken Little Soup says once Diggle tells Felicity what's going on, do you think they will still keep it a secret from Oliver, or will they tell him what's going on? Yeah, there had to be a reason that they didn't have Felicity there. Uh, for the purpose of next episode. Now, yeah, probably, and then he comes back as Green Arrow at the end. I mean, I guess in, in the long run, too, Yeah. it's, or I guess in the short run, Yeah. Um, having your field crew mm-hmm. know what's going on, the ones that you're leading, sure. is good. Yeah. Since usually she's more of a technical and, yeah. and, hey, look out behind you and stuff, you know? Sure. So we'll have that, Oliver will come back, and Aaron will be slapped. Not next episode. There will be no no Oliver Queen Green Arrow next episode, and then Eric will get slapped. Mm. Alrighty, um, that looks like it. We're at the top of the list, and we've gone through most of the questions. Okay. A lot of them are repeats, but asking if Slade's going to be back. Sure, well, why don't we make that the subject of our poll? Do you think that we'll see Slade again oh. this season? I think it's a, definitely apparent you're, we're going to see Slade again before the, the end of the show. But this season, is Slade done for this season? Um, I wouldn't crossover or the finale. Yeah. Honestly, I wouldn't mind if like we had an event every season that's like, hey, this is the crossover event. This is the Deathstroke event. Ooh. You know, we we're gonna Deathstroke like that. show up in Flash. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wouldn't that be? Sweet? I would love that so much. Um, I'm gonna say we're not gonna see him again this season. We will. Okay. We just got him back. I feel like they're gonna bring him back at least one more time this season. I would love just that. to have something. You know. Yeah. But we want to hear what you guys have to say. Go to Patreon.com. Slash. <gasps> Uh, blind wave uh, figure out how to spell the that all that but or just hit the button that's gonna be right there hey he doesn't need to put in the show uh, music we can just use this patreon over there subscribe over there and we'll see you guys next time